Hi friends, welcome all of you back to my YouTube channel. This is Virtual Tech Chat Ampa 1. In this tutorial, I am going to teach you how to connect two different PCs to this QuickBook accounting system and work in multi user mode. You can see here I have logged to my, my admin account of multi user mode, and here I have connected to this user account from my next PC. Uh, you can see here I have created new user and I have logged to this PC as a limited user so uh, after following this tutorial you all also will be able to create uh, multi-user accounts like this in QB and connect to different PCs uh, to work as a group so let's just start our video and see how we can do this please subscribe my youtube channel turn on notification at and join with me If you really need to connect and work with your QB accounting system as a group uh, with your team members, you need to select this second option from the installation windows of QuickBook accounting package. If you were unable to select this one from the installation process, you need to uh, uninstall the QB and reinstall it. Okay friends, firstly you need to have a cable like this. You can purchase this cable and uh, you can connect two different PCs together using this cable. But if you are planning to work as a team which consists more than two members, you need to share your company file through a network which you all can log in. In this case, I am preparing if you can uh, use the same Wi-Fi network is better uh, which has a strong network connection and also uh, you need to set up your user accounts in QB. So let's see how we can set up user accounts. You need to go to this company option. Now you need to find users option. In here you will be able to find an option called setup users and roles. Then click on it and enter your company file password. Then press OK. In here you will be able to see the user accounts that you have already created here and then you need to click on new option if you are going to uh, create a new user in here in my case i am going to create a one user then you need to set up the role for that user in my case i am going to give him the full access of my company file so i am going to add this one into here then press ok here you can see i have created a user in my company file then you can close this ok guys you need to connect your two faces together using the network cable which i have already showed uh, then you need to go to your search bar and you need to find network connections option then you need to open this one from both pcs now just unplug the uh, network cable from one pc to identify the ethernet uh, connection in here you can see uh, this network connection is unplugged when i disconnect the network cable then i am going to reconnect my network cable again you can see it's connected successful now you need to go to the properties of this ethernet uh, connection from both the pcs now here you need to find the option called uh, internet protocol version 4 from both pcs then go to properties option now you need to set up your IP address like this. In a one PC you need to set up IP address in 192.168.0 and 1 and then you need to uh, set up subnet mask like this and you need to set up 
your default gateway like this in the second pc also you need to uh, set up your ip address and default get uh, gateway like this in this case you can see i have changed the last uh, number of my ip address and default gateway of both the pcs you need to set up your both pcs like this and then press the ok button and you can close this dialog box and then you will be able to see your earthnet cable is successful connected and share it uh, through your uh, network ok guys now you need to press the windows key and r key of your both pcs to open this dialog called run then you need to uh, enter the second pc ip address into this box and you need to enter the first pc ip address into this box like this then you need to press the ok button from uh, both the pcs to open the file manager of uh, your shared folder In here you can see a small problem on my second PC it's saying Windows cannot access to this IP address it may be a problem of your connection sharing so uh, you need to search for network discovery in here like this then open this Wi-Fi network settings to uh, open the network discovery option then go to this advanced sharing option In here you will be able to find an option called network discovery. You need to turn on uh, the settings like this. Now turn off this password protected sharing option and save the settings. You need to enable these settings from uh, both the PCs. Then I can try to open the shared folder of my first PC from using the second PC. So here you can see I have opened that folder. Now in the second PC you need to open your uh, server PC's uh, IP address like this. Now go to the uh, location where you have saved the company file. In my case I have moved my company file into the public and music folder. In here you can see the my company file that I have already opened in the server PC. Then you need to open that company file also from the client PC. Also you need to go to security setting of your server PC and you need to turn off the windows firewall otherwise you won't be able to uh, open the company file from your client PC because uh, this windows firewall rules will not let us to open uh, our company file from another client PC if you doesn't turn off this windows firewall network protection option uh, but in this case you may able to fix this problem also from enabling some inbound and outbound rules uh, of your server PC but I am not going to do that because it's too hard and so annoying so I am easily done of these protections of Windows firewall to solve this problem. Now enter the username that uh, we have created the user profile. Then you will be able to see a message like this on the uh, corner of your windows. Let's try to clarify whether we have uh, logged to the uh, same QB file or not.
from chatting with admin user and the created user. Let's see whether if I got the message or not. Yes, I got the message. So guys, this is how you can successfully connect it to this multi-user from uh, using two PCs of QuickBook accounting system. So with this, I'm going to wind up this video. Thank you all for watching this tutorial. Please subscribe my YouTube channel, turn on notification and join with me.